Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today on the Volkswagen Passat, it's a 2016 S model. I'm gonna be taking off the mirror caps. And the reason you'd wanna take those off, if you wanted to add turn signals or vinyl wrap them, just to have better access to the mirror itself. It's always better to take them off when you do vinyl wrap or paint or anything like that. But I've seen many videos, you'll hear me many times in this video telling you that I've seen many videos that steer you in the wrong direction. I mean, bless their heart. I'm from Texas, so well, I'm not from Texas, but I live in Texas, in the Houston area. And uh, you know you know what that means. So anyway, stick around, watch it, stick around to the end of the video. You'll see me take it off. You'll see me put it back on. I appreciate it, guys. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. I'd love for you to be a part of the channel. It's been a little over a year now. Things are going great. And I have lots of content on the Volkswagen Passat. Engine stuff, all maintenance stuff. Check it out. Check my channel out. Hit subscribe. Appreciate it very much. All right, this is the car. And again, it's a 2016 Volkswagen Passat. It's a S model, which stands for simple. No add-ons, no additional equipment. Pretty much metal and tires. But anyway, I'm building this thing up. We're modding it out this year pretty hard. But anyway... Uh, what I'm gonna show you are the side mirrors, the turn signal mirrors. Those things right there. Those. Okay, in other videos, I've been wanting to like do carbon fiber vinyl wrap or something on those just to give it some flair. But you know what? Uh, I followed the instructions from other videos. I just watched them and they all take the whole mirror apart to do that. You don't have to do that just to get the mirror cap off. It's absolutely wrong. Somebody followed somebody and somebody followed that person. And then I ended up following that person. Wrong. Some years makes and models, maybe you do, but it makes no sense. It's not attached by any screws whatsoever. And I'm just talking about the white part, the mirror cap. Take that off, set it on the workbench, throw some carbon fiber wrap or something on it. I don't think I'm gonna do that, at least not at this time, but I'm gonna show you how to take this thing off, okay? So, yeah, I hope you found this video because it's gonna save you a lot of time and headache. Let's go do it. So, as you can see, it's a really rainy, nasty day here in Houston, Texas, but, you know, I need something to do. So, I thought I'd, I've been thinking about this and I wanted to share it with you, so what a better time than to make a video about it for you. So, this is the white part. This is called the mirror cap. What I've found, people go in here and they pry this mirror off. Half the time they break the damn thing. And they pop it out and there are a bunch of screws in there. That's just for the motor. Tilt the mirror up and down, back and forth, whatever. Um, this cap is, is separate from all of that. It's not attached by any screws. I, ah, I mean, like I said, I've been following videos. I think it's a trend. Like once people start following ideas, they copy it from other people and whatever. But hey, man, I innovated this shit, so I'm showing you how to take this mirror cap off without dealing with any of that crap. All right, so that's it. If you wanna slap some vinyl on it, a little dirt here, slap some vinyl wrap on it or something like that, you know, it always looks good, but it's just simple. It's all one piece. I'm gonna show you how to pop that off. I'm gonna have to put the camera on a tripod or something to, so I can use both hands, but it is very doable. All right, I pulled this thing in the garage. It's a little nasty outside. Get out of the wind, all that good stuff. But anyway, you can use a pry tool if you like, but I don't like that on this particular thing because it kind of puts all the force in one spot. I don't want to crack anything. So what I found is I come down here and I kind of get in there and start loosening that up. And you can stick a pry tool in there to start it. But I'm going to put this thing on a tripod or whatever and uh, so I can get both hands on it and show you how to pop it off. All right, that's it, man. It didn't take much, it just pops. Don't put too much force on it. Let me show you. Got all these clips here, clip, 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 clip. It just snaps into place. And I'll show you how to put it back on, but 
You just put it back on, snap it back in place. Really? Who would have thought that shit? I mean, who would have? Why have I been following all these videos and they all do the same damn thing? Yeah, I can show you how to take all the other stuff apart too. If you ever want to change the, the turn signal light out or whatever, replace the motor inside here. But I'm just blown away, to tell you the truth. I'm blown away. It's consumed so much of my time. I actually did it. And I was embarrassed. I had like secondhand embarrassment. That's kind of an awkward feeling. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I drank the Kool-Aid on that one, but no more. You guys are good now, so I'm gonna show you how to put this thing back on. But first, you know, like I said, you would usually take this off if it were cracked or if you wanted to put a vinyl wrap on it. And that was my original intention, uh, was to put vinyl wrap on it. I still may at some point, but now I know it's not gonna take a half a freaking day to disassemble this stupid ass thing. So anyway, excuse the language, but I'm just, I just want you to feel what I'm feeling. You know what I mean? All right. So while it's off, I wanna give you a closer look. Yeah, it can be cleaned up a little bit. It's just dust and dirt and stuff. But uh, a lot of people take these turn signals here and uh, put dynamic lights on there. Those are really cool, sequential dynamic turn signal lights. But uh, I may do that at some point as well. But right now, you know, they're pretty good. Notice I have the hex tint on it to match the headlights. Oh, yeah. Watch that video, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's it. So like I said, the problem most people have is they take this mirror off and if you put too much pressure on it, it's going to snap, it's gonna crack. And then you have to wait around and for a new one to come in. They're not that expensive, but it's a pain in the ass. Um, but all you have back here is a circular thing and that's the motor and it just plugs in. So this is an S model. It doesn't have the puddle lights underneath and all that other crap, but uh, I just wanted to show you kind of what you're looking at when you get inside of here because a lot of people are placing orders for upgrades for these mirrors. Like I said, dynamic turn lights. Some people buy the whole assembly, the cap and the, the bottom part that comes with the turn signal. I don't know, whatever you want to do. But this is probably the only video that I've ever, well, it is the only one I've seen on this car that shows you how to take that mirror cap off like you're supposed to. You saw how easy it was. I put this in, in this one corner. I just pried it, not too much pressure, and it kind of just releases and pops. That's it, use your hands a little bit if you can on both sides, just to give it some support. But that's it, man, that's freaking it. That's all it is. So we're gonna get this thing put back on now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Let's go do it. All right, I'll try to get you in a little closer here. So grab it. You know, now that I know how to take it off, I, I can take it off in a few seconds. So I'm not gonna really clean it up or anything, but you just kind of line it back up where it goes. Now, when I put it on last time, it's a little more difficult to put it on than to take it off, but uh, just line it up, make sure everything's sealed right. Push on it, get those clips engaged like that. Make sure all your ends are flush in. There it is. That's it, man. That is it. I, I don't know how much time that took me, but it was a hell of a lot less time than it took me to watch all those videos for a freaking year on this. Man, just don't follow everything you see. Don't believe everything you see. I learned that lesson when I was a kid, but it just, I keep doing it. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I went back on it. You probably noticed there was a gap here. There's a little, uh, one of the little, you know, little clips in there. You need to kind of push on this and down. Now it's perfect. So everything's good, guys. Everything's good. You just have to work with it for a minute. But like I said, it's easy to put back on, but it's a little harder than taking it off. Be careful, never too much pressure. Get yourself some plastic pry tools so you don't scratch your paint or break anything. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will say some models, you do need to take the mirror out because there are a couple clips, but you don't have to take all the hardware out. You just put a screwdriver on those clips and release. But this particular model, you don't. And I think you can pretty much do it with all of them. Well, most of them like this. But uh, just look into it, look into it. If you have this model, 
Passat 2016 S. You're golden now. Send me some mods down in the comments. Let me know what you guys have been doing to your cars. If you have any trouble with this, let me know. I'll be sure to comment back. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe, guys. I appreciate you being here today. It's been a year that I've been doing this channel now. Things are coming along just fine. I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers. It's been great. I mean, you know, I'm not pushing that. I'm just pushing quality videos. Uh, you know, and I've had a lot of good feedback from it. People tell me that I'm pretty detailed and I've helped them a lot. So I'm glad that I can share the knowledge. And with that, I've learned a lot as well. Uh, everybody makes mistakes, but I've learned a lot. But this year we're gonna be doing a lot of mods to this car. It's gonna be insane. Gonna put, got some wheels on the way right now. I'm gonna eventually do some coilovers, probably BC racing or something, just to drop it down on those wheels. And uh, yeah, man, you know, as you've seen my other videos, I've already done stuff to the, uh, a little bit of stuff here and there to the engine, but not too much. You know, this car is only going to go so fast, but it has been fun and it, it, it's going to look pretty good when all this stuff gets done. Hopefully I'll get to some car shows this year. All right, guys. Thank you.